What's up everyone? My name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and um, welcome to another speed build. So yeah, for today's build, um, this is part four, I think. Yeah, part four of the uh, Dutch Row Houses series, the Dutch Row Houses that I'm building on my channel. Um, I've already done, um, if you haven't seen the other parts, this is part four, as I just mentioned. Uh, the first part was just building the exterior of all the houses of the whole row, which uh, exists of uh, four homes. And this is the uh, fourth, no, the third one that I'm furnishing. After this, there's only one left. I already furnished it, but um, I just have to, uh, yeah, get the video up. But um, yeah, this is the third house that I'm furnishing. And um, this one is quite different from the rest. I try to create um, different storylines for different families so that the houses could be furnished all like way uh, differently. Um, so yeah, that there's a bit of variation in those homes. And just to show you that there is a lot of different things that you can do with the same kind of house, because obviously they have the same floor plan, all of them, because they're row houses. So that means they're all the same homes in a row next to each other. And um, they are homes that you can buy. So you can mess around with the floor plan a little bit and just renovate it um, if you want to. So that's what I actually did for this one, because this one, as you can maybe already tell, is going to be quite uh, colorful and a little bit messy. Um, what I had in mind was I wanted to furnish this one for a family that, that uh, consists of two parents and three kids. And then as I was talking about the different storylines that I had in mind in the first part of the Dutch Row Houses, some, one of you actually commented, why uh, don't you do it for like two parents and four kids? And I was like, well, that's actually a very good idea and a very good challenge. And um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do. So I furnished this one for two parents, four kids and um, and their dog. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's quite a lot of Sims um, to fit into this uh, little house. Well, um, it's not that little, but still it's it's pretty small for, uh, for a family that large. Um, and what I had in mind for this family is that they that they are, um, yeah, quite colorful and not very neat. Um, so their house is going to be quite messy and uh, very colorful, as I mentioned. Um, very messy kitchen, lots of stuff everywhere. And what I tried to do for this house, like what I had in mind is, uh, a home that's very like mismatched and the colors and the styles of the furniture and all that I wanted it to be very mismatched so that I could like challenge myself in that sense because I don't really often do that um, for example this is the very first time I'm actually using that blue swatch of the parenthood kitchen in here I've never actually used this blue swatch before and I tried to like mismatch the the bar stools that are like the green and orange swatch kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's what I was trying to go for. Lots of stuff everywhere, lots of stuff hanging on the wall. I wanted it to really feel like a family home that um, once you go into the house, you see like lots of stuff everywhere and lots of um, storage space. Like it doesn't matter where you are in the house, you can always just turn around and open a drawer or a cupboard and there is like something for a kid to do in there. Like there's like stuff that, uh, stuff for like drawings or, or whatever, like board games, anything like that. I just really wanted to feel like a very family friendly home. Um, and yeah, here you can see I was really trying to mismatch the colors of the chairs and all that. And um, yeah, I think I did a, I did quite an all right job at mismatching everything. Um, I do tend to like, color match everything a little bit and it was really out of my comfort zone so I do think I succeeded in that sense but it still also feels like it still also feels like just you know one certain kind of style if that makes any sense like everything is quite mismatched but then again the colors do kind of go together because they have the same like intensity if that makes any sense. So it looks mismatched, but it doesn't really hurt your eyes in that sense. If that makes any sense, <laughs> I hope it does. Um, but yeah, that's really what I was trying to go for here. And I did mess around with the floor plan a little bit because I figured um, I needed one extra bedroom upstairs. 
So that means that I had to get rid of the um, uh, ma master bedrooms um, ensuite bathroom. So I got rid of that so that I could create an extra little bedroom. Um, but that did mean that originally I would have only one bathroom in this house. Um, or like one and a half bathroom because there's one downstairs as well, but it's a half bathroom only a toilet and a sink in there But I decided to extend that bathroom and um, put a shower in there as well So there is two bathrooms in this house Which is for gameplay maybe still a little bit annoying But it is very realistic in my opinion because I've never actually seen a real-life house in this style like a, a row house that has more than two bathrooms that just didn't make any sense to me so yeah if you're living with a lot of people in this little house it's going to be a little struggle but i think that's okay and i think that is very realistic and i mean i don't think they're all gonna be home at the same time all the time you know like the the kids are gonna be at school the parents are going to be working you know so well maybe if you wake up at night and you have to pee and a couple of your brothers and sisters also have to pee like then then you're gonna have to wait i mean yeah let's face it that's just gonna happen but you know i think that's fine i think it's okay it's quite realistic so yeah um i can tell you a little bit more about what i had in mind for this family i did think of a little storyline for this family so like i said there's four kids and two parents um it's always quite difficult for me to explain because i don't want to offend anyone when it comes to like genders of course it can be anyone any gender living in this house you know it doesn't really matter but i'm just going to tell you what the storyline is that i had in mind that just helped me create this house and just inspired me to furnish it a certain way so what i had in mind was two parents uh, a man and a woman and um i think that the woman she is a writer and she works from home so that she can like take care of the kids and all that but still like work because she is a really creative she's a writer and i do imagine her to be writing uh, children's books and also maybe like um do the drawings in those books so she's probably a very good writer like a storyteller but also a very good um a drawer or what's that called a very good painter i guess <laughs> i don't know but she just knows how to uh, draw children's pictures and children's books so i think she creates um, children's books from home most of the time um so that she can be at home a lot because she likes to be at home she loves her family she just wants to be home when her kids are home so that she can maybe help them with homework or whatever um and also they do have a dog i did imagine it to be like uh like a, a big dog like a family friendly dog like a golden retriever or something um a very just friendly nice cuddly little dog um so that she wants to really stay at home with the dog and i like you can see here i just um i just put a lot of like random books everywhere that could maybe like be children's books but they're also just uh, skill building books i thought it would be quite handy for those books to be around everywhere but yeah that's what i had in mind for the mom then um the dad i think that he works in the gardening career i think um i don't know i'm not quite sure which um side of the career but i i think he's into gardening um so he does that for a living and um well he doesn't work from home he just goes to work i don't know exactly <laughs> what a gardener would do <laughs> I, I don't really know anything about it um but i think he i just think he's a guy that really likes being outside and working like with his hands and um yeah he just he's just he's a guy that wants to be outside a lot and just likes plants and gardening and i think he knows a lot about that and um yeah i think that's the career that he is in and he is also a very family friendly guy obviously because he has a large family and he loves his family um so yeah that's what i had in mind for um for the parents then for the kids, um, I did think there would be two girls and two boys. I think the um, the, um, the youngest, the the I mean the oldest kid is going to be a teenage girl in my storyline, and um, she shares her bedroom 
with um, her younger sister, who is, well, in The Sim, she would be a kid, but in my head, she'd be a tween, um, which we don't have in the game, but I think she's just, uh, she's, she's the oldest of the two kids. So the girls are the oldest two, and they're a teenager and a kid. Um, and then the youngest two are the guys, um, the younger kid, who is a guy and the and the toddler there's also a toddler in this house so the boys share a bedroom and the girls uh, share a bedroom but we'll get to that uh, in a little bit um, so yeah that's that's what I had in mind as far as um, what the family consists of um, and here you can see me uh, adding a little extra like study nook uh, or a place for the kids to do their homework because um, they don't actually have desks in their bedrooms if I remember correctly. I know for a fact that the guys don't have a desk. I'm not quite sure if the girls have a desk, maybe one? I'm not sure but we'll get to that shortly. Um, so yeah, I just added um, a little study area on the on the landing area right here the landing space i don't know i still don't know <laughs> how to call that um but basically you can see me do it here and i was still trying to really like mismatch the colors and everything and i do think yeah i think it looks quite nice looking back at the footage i really really actually really like it um it did take me a while to furnish this house because there's lots of clutter just everywhere around this house <laughs> so it makes sense for me to like you know take my time with it and it also I didn't record obviously I I can just press pause whenever I want to when I'm recording which is quite handy so that I sometimes especially for this bill sometimes it just took me so long to figure out the color scheme that I wanted to go for and um I was really just trying to figure out what colors would go together here you could see me, I was trying to go for the <laughs> yellow little um, uh, cupboards up there. Um, but I didn't end up doing that. I thought it would be just too much yellow. And it, when, you know when you're trying to like play with colors, but then you want it to look like it just turned out that way like randomly, but then when you try to go overboard with it, it's just too much and it just looks like you try to go for a lot of color if that makes any sense and then it just doesn't look realistic anymore so that's what i was going for with this as well um, i did want it to be like very colorful i've never used that swatch of the bed ever of this bed i don't really actually use that bed that often um at all because i think the color swatches are a little bit difficult to work with but for this style of house or for this style of interior, it just it just really looked quite nice. And that chair in the corner there, it's <laughs> it doesn't match anything, <laughs> which is exactly what I wanted. And then that little poof in front of it as well. I think this room is the most like mismatched room of the whole house, but that's okay because it's a bedroom and this one actually does hurt my eyes <laughs> in, in some way. Um, but yeah, that's what happened in that room. I think it's just, it was really fun to just play around with colors and just use swatches that I've never actually used before. Um, so that was quite fun to do. And here you can see me uh, messing around with the guy's bedroom. This is the boy's bedroom. So it's for a kid and a toddler. I actually do feel quite sorry for that, for the guy that's sharing his bedroom with a toddler. <laughs> I think that'd be quite annoying because I don't know but for some reason maybe it has to do something with like a trait that you can give your toddler but whenever I play the game which doesn't happen that often anymore because I usually build um, but when I play the game my toddlers always wake up in the middle of the night and they um, wake up the closest um, the closest older sim that's 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 closest to them so for this toddler that would be his brother <laughs> and i feel really sorry for him <laughs> uh, but you know it's just what it's gonna have to be in this house because there is not more space than than this um 
So I imagine this uh, this boy, the kid, to be very into um, Pokemon, or in this case, Void Critters, which I think it's such a cute thing in the game. I really love those Void Critters and the little the little wall accessories that we have. And um, here you could just see me add like all sorts of stuff up on the uh, up on the shelf, on the up on the bookcase. Um, I just tried to make this room very colorful and it turned out to be very, um, very blue and green. I didn't think of that beforehand. I know it looks maybe a little bit stereotypical, but it's not what I was trying to go for at all. It's just the way it turned out because I was trying to go for the most colorful swatches that I could find of the furniture that I wanted to use. So um, yeah, that's just how it, that's just how it turned out for this bedroom. And I think the toddler is very much into animals and all that. And um, the boy, uh, the kid is very much into sports. So I added, just added some clutter and some like, like a little bit of, um, I tried to make it a little bit of a messy room because they're kids and a toddler and yeah, they're not gonna be cleaning up after themselves, <laughs> I don't think. Um, so this is the girl's bedroom. Oh yeah, you could yeah, I did add a desk in here. Now I now I remember. Two. Did I add two? I <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see whatever we end up with. Um but yeah, the the um, the the bed here the bed here with the cat swatch is going to be for the kid and um the other side is going to be for the teen and I do think these girls, these sisters, they do get along quite well. Um, they don't, like, the teenager is obviously older than her sister, than the kid, but I don't think there's too much of an age gap between them. Um, so I think they do get along quite well, so, which I don't know, but I think that would automatically happen if you have to share a bedroom. This size, this small, I do think you would end up, like, or maybe you could end up being, like, like fighting all the time but I I don't think that's the case for these girls and I think the teenagers she is very much preparing um for college I do think she's the kind of girl that really um yeah she really wants to go to college also because maybe she is at the age where she really wants to get out of the house by now <laughs> um but yeah, I think she is very girly. She has lots of stuff. As you can see, I put lots of stuff up on the shelves. Lots of like makeup and nail polish and everything. So I do think she's a very girly girl, but she's also very serious um, about her homework. I do know that I that the homework um, book that's on the desk there is actually a um, university homework book, but I, I just think it's such a cute little such a cute little accessory. So I just, so I just put it on the desk there. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I think she's very serious and I think she, maybe she wants to go after, she wants to take after her mom. Maybe she wants to become a writer as well, but not maybe not, not like, not like a children's book writer, but, um, just fiction, other fiction, like for adults maybe, or I don't know. I think she wants to do something fairly creative as well. So maybe painting or she wants to study arts or she wants to study drama or writing, I think, but maybe she doesn't know it herself just yet, but I do imagine her to be very, um, yeah, very creative in that way. And I really actually really like the, the color of the wallpaper in here, like the green and the orange. It just looks so nice together in my opinion with the like pink details. I don't know, I really like the colors that I had going on in here. And for the younger girl, I imagined her to want to become a uh, vet. I think she is the kind of girl that's really into animals and she's the kind of girl that dreams of becoming a vet and just open her own clinic someday. Um, and she wants to, she really just wants to help all the sick animals. Um, I think that's, that's her dream. She's the kind of girl that really likes being outside and really likes playing with animals. And she, um, also loves her dog. Obviously they all love their, the family dog, but, um, yeah, I think that, um, I think that she really wants to be a vet because she loves animals and pets. Um, and here I added the second bathroom. In this one, I did add a um, shower bathtub combination for the toddler to 
uh, take baths. And I did add a potty up here for the toddler as well. And I did play test everything because I know it's it's quite cluttered. Um, but I think I play tested pretty much everything. I did play test all the beds and the shower and the kitchen and the toilets and all that. Um, so that should be fine. That should all work. And um, yeah. I just, looking back at this footage, it's been a while since I actually furnished this. But looking back at this footage, I really enjoy it. I think it's so, it looks so like colorful and peaceful at the same time, if that makes any sense. It just looks like it would be such a happy family living in this house. I really, don't you just, sometimes when you build something in The Sims, I really just, it sounds a little weird, but sometimes I just really wish I could you know, just go into the game and actually walk around in the house that <laughs> I just built. I don't know, I maybe I get too invested. That's quite possible, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, in the backyard here, I did end up uh, putting some planters and all that, maybe for the dad or the kids or just anyone um, to just do a little bit of gardening and just play around. And um, yeah. It just, it's quite a messy garden because as much as the dad is into gardening, I think he's quite a busy guy and he doesn't have the time for his own garden, <laughs> which is fine because there's lots of kids and a dog, so it would end up being a mess anyway. Um, so yeah, that's just how it is um, for this garden. But yeah, you can download this house off the gallery. My username is Simmery Sims. You can download the empty version of the row houses so that you can furnish it yourself, or you can uh, download the fully furnished uh, version of the row houses. So all four homes will be fully furnished and, um, you can use that if you want to, if you don't want to furnish it yourself. You can also um, follow me on Instagram. My username is Simmery Sims on Instagram. Um, yeah, and I think that's going to be all for this build. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And um, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.